In line with Governor Godwin Obasaki's mandate of creating 200,000 jobs and stepping up infrastructure and industrialization in Edo State, the state government is set to construct and reconstruct over 3,000 kilometers of roads using concrete technology. The state is partnering with AG Dangote on this new initiative, which in the long run will be more cost effective and more durable with little or no maintenance when compared to asphalt technology. This project is about uh, construction of uh, roads using concrete technology. And as you can see, the Edo State is in partnership with uh, AG Dangote. And they are using Nevi Street as a pilot demonstration uh, a project to showcase how to use concrete for our roads. The arrangement is in two phases. Apart from creating the assets, they are also training most of our engineers in different skills concerning road construction. Like they are training masons, they are training carpenters, and they are training welders. And they are training, you know, uh, four men to be proficient in road construction. If you look back now, like that is the that is working there. It's been moved now. It's been manipulated by one of the trainees that was drafted to this uh, project about two weeks ago. The, the boy there, the beneficiary there, is already skilled in the art of operating the excavator. Ever since I don't have, I don't have anything to do, but now I can operate on equipment and any uh, uh, heavy duty for that matter. It's like I'm happy, I'm grateful to to, uh, to my own servant, to the state government for imparting this program to work. But I'm happy. I don't know how to express myself. But the joy in me is like somebody who doesn't even have anything, just surprised to, to have a good state that is more more qualified out there for, for the society. Now I'm happy to do anything as far as equipment. I'm happy, I'm grateful. I'm a member of one of the quality control units currently carrying out concrete pavement construction on Navy Street here in Benin City. In order to do an effective work, our governor, Mr. Obaseke, has to send some members of the quality control team to Obagana and Kogi State, where we're actually giving good training in order to effect a good growth in the Edo State. So presently at Navy Street, we're actually carrying out concrete pavement construction in Bini City. And to be able to do that in the training, we were taught on how to carry out tests on the soil, on the soil base, on the concrete, as well as to how to do a mixture of it to get a good grade of concrete. We did tests on the compression, on the workability of the concrete, on the sand, we sure that is a fine soil such that we get a good mixture and the purpose of this construction is such that we could do a concrete road that will last longer as it gets the asphalt roof that is difficult to maintain as well as the durability not as good as the concrete road so economic wise it could be an advantage to our governor as well as our state and then the maintenance of it becomes also easier for us in those states so that is all the projects we are doing in the navy state and i'm happy to be part of it Also now in Navy Street, and I'm part of those who will benefit from this road they are constructing now. I know with this, the area stores, the environment will be new. And those of us that are doing business here, I believe with this, Geo Apaseki have done for us, we are going to be one of the best I've seen so far. This road has been afforded for so many years. For so many years, as I was told, for more than 30 years, for this show to be remembered, Gio Basaki, I thank him, I praise him, because I know he's a man who stood by his ways. He's a man who said the, the comrade governor of work in the major road, that he told us in his campaign that he's going to be on the Evaro. And he has shown us a good example. And will in this area, we should be ready 
to work with him to maintain the road. It's not by constructing, I know he's going to spend a lot in this road. And he promised he's going to do other roads. Because for years, we have a different erosions. You look at the houses in this area, all are just like underground. It was not how the houses were built. Then with this, we thank you very much. And God will bless him for this good work. The choice of concrete road pavement is, is supported by the fact that the technology is easy to learn. As you can see, most of these beneficiaries are already skilled under two weeks in the acts of uh, the road construction. Again, the sustainability it's, it's very easy, it lacks little or no maintenance, and is much durable than the asphalt uh, technology. We are expecting that with the design means we are putting on ground here, this road pavement is going to last for upwards of 60 70 years without maintenance. We are most grateful to the state government for bringing this into play and it's going to go a long way to really assist the state.